Thank you, Chairman Cicilline and Ranking Member Sensenbrenner. I'm glad that we're having this hearing today, and it's, it's good to be on something that we can all discuss and hopefully move forward on. It's good to see the senators and the rest of my members uh, here as well. The bankruptcy system is a critical component of the economy. It provides for an important safety net for entrepreneurs and households when they need a fresh start. It also stabilizes and encourages lending because it is a tried and true way for creditors to recover as much as feasible when things go wrong for borrowers. I particularly applaud this uh, subcommittee for considering today the Small Business Reorganization Act. This important bill recently introduced by Representative Klein and Subcommittee Chairman Cicilline offers long-term and long-needed reform to the Chapter 11 of the Bankruptcy Code to help small businesses. Chapter 11 has for many years been the key to survival for firms that need to reorganize their debt so they can continue in business. Reorganization preserves jobs, investments, and valuable contributions to our economy. But for just as many years, Chapter 11's terms have been poorly suited to allow small businesses and their creditors to take full advantage of the relief it promises. To solve this problem, this bill takes up as a model for small business the provisions of Chapter 12 that help small family farmers to reorganize their uh, family farming enterprises when needed. Chapter 12 has long worked well for family farmers, weaving terms modeled into, on it into Chapter 11 for general use in small business cases is a terrific idea. I was proud to have introduced the Small Business Reorganization Action last term uh, with the subcommittee chairman, Cicilline, and I'm proud to be an original co-sponsor this term. This bill promises to, make, to finally make Chapter 11 work for the entrepreneurs whose small businesses form the backbone of job creation in communities across our nation. We also consider today several other bills. Respectively, they offer more flexibility in bankruptcy for service members and their families, an increase in the amount of debt that can be reorganized in Chapter 12 bankruptcies, and an increased transparency concerning firms helping to resolve Puerto Rico's insolvency under the 114th Congress's PROMESA legislation. I am glad that we have the chance to examine these bills today. We are also, though, here to consider Chairman Nadler's proposed legislation to expand uh, the amount of student loan debts that can be discharged in bankruptcy and also recognize the Senator's work on that as well. However, like many members, I'm deeply touched by the skyrocketing cost of higher education and the massive amounts of debt students are taking on to shoulder these costs. To the best help, Congress must find ways to stop the explosion of cost. Congress's answer to students should not be, sorry, we're unwilling to drive down costs, but we're willing to, we want to make it easier for you to end up in bankruptcy court. The answer needs to be about the costs themselves and the institutions with a firm look at the total picture. And as someone who just came from the, you know, a few years ago on the state level, this is one of the biggest issues we have, and I'm glad we're discussing it. We need to find an answer to this, but I think we cannot also discharge the cost aspect of universities and systems that we go forward. Also, since the vast majority of student loans are now federal loans, our answer to taxpayers shouldn't be that in response to unbearable student loan levels, all Congress can do is increase the ways in which taxpayers get left holding the bag. That is exactly what happens when federal student loans are discharged in bankruptcy cases. I really want to help uh, the chairman this proposal and the senator as well, and would ask all my colleagues to join in real search and real solutions that we can find a total picture of this uh, problem that we have. It is something that needs to be fixed, but simply life, sometimes the best answer is not free. It is how do we get in and dig and find our important answer. With that, I yield back.